All right, let's start with the offense and quarterback Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs. Were you expecting someone else? 31 starts into his made-for-cinema career, Patrick Mahomes appears to harbor no weakness, topping his 50-touchdown MVP frolic of 2018 with a Super Bowl title one season later. Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson spin a special brand of brilliance, but Mahomes looms today as the most complete package quarterback of our time. At running back, we've got Christian McCaffrey of the Carolina Panthers. One of the more impeccable gridiron specimens to grace earth, McCaffrey's ground artistry and pass-catching elegance are the stuff of nightmares for would-be tacklers as the only player in league history to notch 2,500 plus yards rushing and receiving over his first three seasons. McCaffrey's biggest feat is this, accounting for 43% of Carolina's offense last season when teams knew he was the guy snap after snap after snap. Our second running back is Saquon Barkley of the New York Giants. A reminder to agitated Twitter types that Ezekiel Elliott, Alvin Kamara, and Dalvin Cook all turned 25 this summer. Besides, Barkley has a case against anyone as a dual threat, clad in blue freak, who enemies targeted from the minute he hit the field for the wanting Giants. At wide receiver, Chris Godwin of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Long before Tom Brady ventured south, Godwin shapeshifted into a whirlwind for secondaries to ponder. Bucks coach Bruce Arians crystal balled a big year for Godwin last offseason, saying, I think he's going to be close to a 100 catch guy. Close indeed, with 86 grabs for 1,333 yards, third among all wideouts last season, and nine touchdowns. Our second wideout on the list, Cortland Sutton of the Denver Broncos. The future receiver appears bright with A.J. Brown, D.J. Moore, Terry McLaurin, and T.K. Metcalf in the mix. I'll take the underrated Sutton over all of them after seeing him thrive as a bona fide number one option in a Denver offense that suddenly looks spicy. At our flex position, we've got Nick Chubb, running back for the Cleveland Browns. I flip-flopped Chubb and Barkley more than once while piecing this together, offering flickers of Jim Brown with his brute power and bounce-off-you rumblings. Chubb can do anything asked of him on the ground, outrushing Saquon over two seasons and topping both the Giants star and McCaffrey with his gaudy 5.1 yards per blast. The tight end, Mark Andrews of the Baltimore Ravens. Andrews tore off the doors last season with 16 catches for 220 yards and two scores during Baltimore's raucous 2-0 start. His 64 grabs for 852 yards and 10 touchdowns topped Ravens skill players across the board as Andrews served as Lamar Jackson's favorite weapon when Baltimore's backfield wasn't blasting front sevens into the dirt. Our first offensive tackle is Orlando Brown of the Baltimore Ravens. Speaking of last year's Ravens, Brown started 16 games on the right side for Baltimore and finished as football's 10th best pass blocking tackle for pro football focus. His run blocking could use a boost, but the Ravens have no questions about whether Brown belongs. Our second tackle is Braden Smith of the Indianapolis Colts. No questions linger over Smith either, with the second-year Colts tackle scoring PFF's fourth-highest run-blocking mark at the position as an integral part of one of the AFC's top lines. At guard, not surprisingly, we've got Quentin Nelson of the Indianapolis Colts. Forget the age restrictions. Nelson is already the finest guard in all of football. One of the most complete interior linemen of the 21st century, the third-year blocker cuts the figure of a mauler who could thrive in any era. Our second guard is Elgden Jenkins of the Green Bay Packers. At center, Eric McCoy of the New Orleans Saints. What more can you ask from a rookie center? McCoy surpassed his second round pedigree to earn PFF's fourth highest mark by a pivot off a third ranked run blocking score and eighth best pass blocking grade. And now let's take a look at the defensive side of the ball. At edge rusher, we've got Nick Bosa of the San Francisco 49ers. Football heads spent last offseason predicting that Bosa, like brother Joey, would emerge right away as a game-altering horror show off the edge. Football heads were right. Our second edge is Miles Garrett of the Cleveland Browns. Understandably lost in Garrett's inexcusable helmet smash of Steelers passer Mason Rudolph was the makings of a stellar campaign. Despite a resulting suspension that ended Garrett's season after Week 11, the third-year edge man posted an NFL-high 25% pass rush win rate, according to PFF. Along the defensive line, we've got Kenny Clark of the Green Bay Packers. As the keystone of an improved Packers front, Clark appropriately earned Pro Bowl honors as a pocket-pressing nuisance whose 52 inside hurries trailed only Aaron Donald. 
Also on the interior defensive line, Dexter Lawrence of the New York Giants. The first rounder was a raging headache against the run in year one and brought a ray of hope to an otherwise lost at sea Giants defense. At linebacker, Leighton Van Der Esch of the Dallas Cowboys. Van Der Esch struggled through a painful neck injury last season, but no doubt lingers over his ceiling when healthy. A force of nature Pro Bowl selection as a rookie in 2018, the Cowboys' first rounder piled up 140 tackles, two picks, and six pass breakups. Our second linebacker is Bobby Okereke of the Indianapolis Colts. Many to pick from with Devin Bush, Devin White, and Dre Greenlaw showing plenty as rookies. Okereke produced the most complete campaign of the bunch, though, finishing as PFF's ninth-rated linebacker with an ability to line up all over the field. He's dynamic in coverage, too, more of a need than ever in today's NFL. At cornerback, Marshawn Lattimore of the New Orleans Saints. Lattimore's sensational debut in 2017 triggered Rookie of the Year honors. While less flashy since, Lattimore remains a steady presence inside a stout New Orleans secondary. As an unquestioned number one corner, the former Buckeyes standout is tasked with stopping a murderer's row of problematic NFC South wideouts in Julio Jones, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and DJ Moore. Also at cornerback, Marlon Humphrey of the Baltimore Ravens. Today's NFL is stocked with difference-making corners as teams regularly roll out a fifth and sixth defensive back to counter exploding air attacks. Packed into a deep Ravens secondary, 2017 first rounder has logged 47 forced incompletions, fourth league-wide over his first three seasons. At safety, Jamal Adams of the New York Jets. Adams has blossomed into the most dominant Jets defender since Darrell Rivas took flight. Able to thrive as a one-man band, Adams has logged six force fumbles, two picks, 12 sacks, and 25 pass breakups over the past three seasons. Our second safety is Minka Fitzpatrick of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Entirely worth the first round pick they shipped to Miami, Fitzpatrick hit the Steel City as a change agent. Serving as the tipping point for a stock defense, Fitzpatrick zoomed to an all-pro nod as a ball-hawking marauder, stacking five interceptions, two forced fumbles, three fumble recoveries, nine passes defense, one pick six, and a fumble taken to the house. Our flex on defense is Derwin James of the Los Angeles Chargers. James makes this list because, if not for a season mostly lost to injury, he might be sitting here as the best defensive player of them all. His rookie showing was storybook fodder, leaving no doubts about James authoring a massive comeback tale in 2020. And now for special teams. At kicker, Joey Sly of the Carolina Panthers. Punter, Jamie Gillen of the Cleveland Browns. Our return man, is Deontay Harris of the New Orleans Saints. All right, that's our all under 25 team, every position in the NFL. If you have any issues with that, feel free to hit me up at Mark Sessler on Twitter. Um, I'm sure once again, this list is controversy free, so I won't hear from any of you. Farewell.